The State Capture Commission of Inquiry, chaired by Acting Chief Justice Raymond Zondo, is expected to submit its final report to President Cyril Ramaphosa sometime in February of next year. Ramaphosa has until the end of June 2022 to submit a copy of the report and inform Parliament what he intends doing about its recommendations. Earlier this month, Zondo requested yet another extension in order to complete his report. To talk more on the various aspects of this, we're joined by KSAC's Executive Secretary, Lawson Naidu. Mr. Naidu, good to have you with us once again. Perhaps let's start first of all with the request for extension by Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. Uh, was that called for in your view? Uh, good afternoon and thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, last week on the 21st of December, the Deputy Chief Justice uh, submitted an urgent application in the Gauteng High Court. Uh, requesting a yet another extension, the fourth such, such extension that he has requested in 2021 alone. Uh, and the court has granted that uh, extension until the 28th of February. Uh, what the Deputy Chief Justice said was that he has not completed the full report. There was a part of the report that uh, will be completed by the end of this month, uh, and that he intends submitting the report in three parts to the President. So part one, which uh, he uh, has said he will be able to deliver to the president by this Friday, the 31st of December, will deal with transnet as well as aviation issues. And the other uh, 15 of the 17 work streams that the commission has been working on will be submitted as, as, parts, as, as reports in parts two and three to be submitted by the end of January and then the final uh, report by the end of February. Uh, so, but we don't know what will be contained in those two further reports. And the Deputy Chief Justice has simply said that he has hadn't, hasn't had sufficient time to do all the checking, the proofreading, the cross-referencing, and so on. And that's going to take him some time to complete, and that's why he's not able to meet the de December 31 uh, deadline. In your view, um, the, the President is going to go through this report. He says he's going to read it. He's going to take counsel and make recommendations. But until such time that he has done that, the contents of the report will be secret and will not be disclosed. What do you make of this decision? Well, I think it's unfortunate that because the application was heard as a matter of urgency, as I say, the application was only filed on the 21st of December and was heard literally a week later. Uh, the, the parties that were involved, which is the State Capture Commission, the President, as well as CASAC as the eighth respondent, uh, were, were not able in the time available uh, to provide the court with the full set of uh, facts and information and to allow a proper ventilation of all of the issues. And therefore, what we had was a, um, a very quick uh, hearing uh, yesterday morning. In, in total, it lasted no more than 40 minutes including the decision by, uh, by the judge that was presiding in the urgent court. Uh, and, uh, you know, whilst it's absolutely reasonable for the president to whom the report must be submitted to have a reasonable opportunity uh, to study the report before it is made publicly available, uh, but the uh, order that was granted uh, means that we could be in the dark for a period of up to four months before that document is released to the public. Uh, and that would, uh, in, in my view, seem to be a, a, an exceptionally long period, given that all of the evidence uh, that has been heard has been heard in, in, in open. Uh, we've, we've all listened to and, and seen the evidence provided. And uh, the South African public are eager to see the report. So one certainly heard. Mr. Naidu? Hope that the president, and he can do so before he has determined the, what uh, implementation plan he's going to put in place. Well, the four-month uh, period that the president says is going to take in order to mull over this report, how does that time disadvantage um, South Africans in any way? Or what impact does it have then on law and perhaps other agencies who are dependent on the contents of that report? Well, that's, that's precisely the point that CASAC raised in our uh, submissions uh, before the court, was that whilst the president may well need time to think through some of the structural and perhaps legislative changes that might be required as a result of the recommendations of the report, there are other aspects of it, such as matters of referral for further investigations and prosecutions to the law enforcement agencies uh, that do not require that, uh, that length of time. 
Uh, and in his response to uh, Kasek's affidavit, the president has said that where those simple administrative uh, issues are, 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 are to be dealt with, he will deal with those uh, before the matter admitted to parliament. So we take some comfort in the fact that there will be some action that will be taken before his full implementation plan is presented to parliament. Are there issues perhaps of state security that may be contained within that document that cannot be quote unquote leaked uh, before an appropriate time or before appropriate um, recommendations and plans are put in place by the president? Well, I mean, you know, if there are going to be confidential aspects of the, uh, of the report uh, that are classified, then those, uh, you know, will, will, will be stated as such. But I don't think on the basis of the evidence that we've heard uh, that there should be any uh, reason for any of that to be uh, 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 classified in any way. Uh, and I think that, that you know, you, you rightly point to the fact if, if the report is going to be uh, only released after four months, the chances of its leaking uh, become greater by the day. And we would rather that the president put it out there for public comment and for the for government and the presidency to engage uh, with, with the public on, on the findings and the recommendations and reaching conclusions based on an informed input by all relevant stakeholders. As far as the leaking is concerned, you know, that is a possibility as it is in instances of this case. The four months is a long time. Should there be a leakage of any of the contents of this report, what impact will that have on uh, the outcome and perhaps the enforceability of, of some of, of the recommendations? Uh, are there any negative aspects to a possible leakage of this report? Well, not in that sense there wouldn't be. Uh, but, you know, one wants to uh, avoid those uh, situations where reports are leaked or, or parts of the report are leaked. Uh, and, and therefore, you know, in the interest of openness and transparency, uh, that the report should be made public as soon as is practically possible. As I said, the president rightly needs some time to familiarize himself with the contents of the report before that happens. And that may take some time because this is quite likely to be a very lengthy report running to not just a few hundred pages, but perhaps to a, to a few thousand pages. And it will be a, a, a detailed report on the basis of the, uh, you know, the evidence that we've heard and the issues that have been covered by the Commission. Uh, so it will require some time, but you know, our, uh, our hope is that the President minimizes that time and is in a position to make the report publicly available as soon as he has digested its contents himself. Let's try and make these numbers concre uh, concrete, Mr. Naidu. If four months is uh, too long a period of time, what do you propose as a reasonable amount of time for the president to disclose? Well, well it's impossible to say what a reasonable amount of time is because we don't know what uh, the report is going to look like, how long the report is going to be, uh, exactly what issues it's going to cover. Uh, the Deputy Chief, uh, Chief Justice has given us a list of 17 issues that the commission has worked on. Uh, but until we, we've actually seen the report, it would be, you know, um, you know, we'd be sucking our thumbs if we were going to say, well, two months would be a reasonable time rather than four. We simply don't know. It may well be that four months is a reasonable time. Uh, but uh, at this point in time, it, it's impossible to say. Mr. K uh, Mr. Lawson Naidu, Executive Secretary of KSAC, thank you very much for your time. Uh, uh, talking about the State Capture Commission of Inquiry, which will be released in three parts. And as he says, we don't know the exact content of uh, the report and how long it will take the president uh, to go through it. So whether it's four months or three months, all of that is dependent really on the contents of that particular report and the recommendations that will be made.